morning, trainers. It's nine o'clock, I slept seven whole hours last night. I was up late editing till about 2 a.m. and I ran my computer battery down to nothing. So I'm heading down to the lodge right now to see if I can plug in and finish editing yesterday's vlog before we head out for the day and do some hiking and whatever else we're gonna do. So hopefully I'll be able to get that vlog done for you. I'm not sure if I'll be able to upload it. So worst case, you'll be seeing this sometime Saturday, uh, but that's the plan for now. Let's see how it goes. Okay, I've been editing here for like an hour and a half. Um, my family just came down and we're about to go on a hike, so I'm packing it up. I'm gonna export this video later and again, hopefully upload it before the end of the day today. Yeah, it's General Sherman. Which one? I have no idea. <laughs> Okay, so this hike turned out to not be much of a hike. It's a paved trail, it was only yeah. half a mile walk. But uh, we're here among some of the biggest and oldest trees in the world. Yeah. These sequoia trees are, some of them are like 3,000 years old. And the main attraction is the General Sherman tree, which is, according to the signs we've read, the biggest tree in the world. Like 257 feet tall. It's big. I still have no phone service, so I'm not playing any Pokemon Go. What Pokemon do you think you would find here, Nick? Um, there would definitely be plenty of grass types, maybe some ground types, definitely some bug types also. And I think if there was ever a location for Celebi, this would be it. The largest tree in the world seems like the perfect place for the protector of the forest to be hanging out. So maybe we'll see when second generation gets added, when we find out how legendary events work. I mean, I guess it wouldn't work here because no one has phone service, but I still think it's a cool spot. We're all heading down to this lake. Um, everyone's gonna swim. I heard there might be a cafe with some Wi-Fi down there, so hopefully we can get you guys some gameplay for today. Let's check it out. Okay, we made it. Uh, the cafe is supposedly down at that end of the lake. <sighs> so I'm going for a walk. Miley, your french fries are ready. Miley? Okay, I walked into the middle of a summer camp. Um, all the Wi-Fi networks are closed. There's one open network, but you have to pay for an access card. And I don't really have time to stay here that long. It wasn't a short walk to get here. So I really need to just turn around and head back to the family. Um, I know there's another place up the road that should have Wi-Fi, so I'm gonna go check that out. I'm just waiting for yesterday's video to export. It's gonna take about an hour. And I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but the reason I was trying so hard to find Wi-Fi today is because the Wi-Fi here in the lodge has been down all day. So I might not be able to get this uploaded. I've got an hour to sit here. Uh, we're eating dinner right now, probably. And then I might try to drive up the road. There's another spot that should have Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna check that out, try to get this uploaded tonight for you guys. If not, I have some bad news. I just broke my lens. I was setting it up to get a shot and it fell flat on the lens from about six feet high. So you can see it's kind of pressed in and crooked right there. So I guess this is the end of this episode. Hey guys, it's Saturday. I just got back to LA. I'm here in Dante's apartment. And I know technically this is Friday's video, but I just wanted to say a few things, add a little bit extra because I feel like watching me run around the forest looking for Wi-Fi isn't the best Pokemon Go content. So first things first, I just got back on Wi-Fi and I can't believe how many views our first episode has gotten. So thank you guys so much for watching and seriously thank you so much to everyone who's subscribed so far. Uh, we're getting really close to 10,000 subscribers and we're gonna do a special giveaway when we hit that number, so make sure you stay tuned. So since this video is about camping with Pokemon Go, I want to share a few things that might be helpful for anyone who's planning on doing this. Obviously, I didn't have service at all where we were camping, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is to check your carrier's coverage map. I checked mine, I was kinda right on the border of service, and there were some parts of the park where 
we were driving through these windy roads and for a second I would get service. So it was really spotty and obviously I didn't have service where we were staying. So definitely check your coverage map before you go out into the wild. The next thing I want to show you guys is a way to find out if there will be Pokestops and gyms where you're planning on going. Right now there's no online map of Pokestops or gyms for Pokemon Go, but you can use the Ingress Intel map to get a good idea. So you're going to want to go to ingress.com slash intel and you will need to make an Ingress account for this. It's really quick and easy, so just do it. Okay, so this is what the map looks like, and basically it just shows you where all the portals are in the entire world. And for those who don't know, Ingress is Niantic's first game, and all the location data for Pokestops and Gyms comes from portal locations in Ingress. So I'm going to go ahead and search up Sequoia National Park. Okay, this is a big park, so I'm going to have to scroll around and look for where we were staying. So if you zoom in close enough, you can see there are actually some portals here in the park. Uh, this one's at a post office, which I remember we passed that. Uh, welcome to Giant Forest. So if you are planning on going somewhere and you want to find out if there's going to be Pokestops or gyms there, you can always use the Ingress Intel map to do that. Uh, one more thing I want to talk about is power. When you're out in the woods or in the desert or in the mountains, obviously you're going to need a source of power. Uh, you can bring a power bank, but a lot of those are fairly small and will only charge your phone a handful of times, so if you're planning on staying out for more than a couple days, you're definitely going to want to find another solution. So I'm going to talk about this, which you might have seen in yesterday's video. This is a Goal Zero Yeti 150, and it's basically a giant portable battery. I bought this last summer when I was traveling and living in my van, and that's a story I'm going to talk about another time. It can charge a phone 15 or 20 times, it has USB ports, a 12 volt outlet, and a regular AC wall outlet, which is great for charging your computer. Um, this one will only charge my MacBook once, yeah. so if you're planning on bringing a computer out, which you probably shouldn't be unless you're trying to edit videos, uh, you're going to want something bigger than this. And they do have bigger options, but they get pretty expensive. The other option, if you want unlimited power when you're out in the wild, is a solar panel. This one is specific to this. It has a special cable that charges this thing out in the sun. It also has just a regular USB port, so you can plug in your phone charger and charge it straight off the sun. This panel is actually pretty expensive because it is specific to the Yeti, but there are cheaper options. Uh, you can get them for as cheap as 50 bucks on Amazon, and I'll actually put a link to one that I recommend down in the description. So hopefully that's some useful information for you guys. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe for more daily Pokemon Go uploads, and we'll see you in the next episode. Yo. What happened? You playing Pokemon Go? Yeah, huh? You playing Pokemon Go? not playing Pokemon Go. Of course I am. Heard you you playing Pokemon Go? Yeah. <laughs> We're all playing Pokemon Go. I can't. We're all playing it. Where's your Pokemon Go? <laughs> For some reason on my Aces phone, the Google Play is not, oh, doesn't have it yet. Oh, Intel processor? Yeah. That's why. They don't like those Intel processors. Sticks.